Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. All baseball last week of the season coming your way here. We got three dogs, one favorite got circled for the Tuesday card. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are, where you agree, where you disagree, where you're watching from. All is welcome, guys. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we're heading to New York, up first, battle of number one and number two in the AL East. It is the Yankees hosting the Orioles, 7.05 Eastern start time. Dean Kramer going for the O's. Clark Schmidt going for the Bronx Bombers. Yankees anywhere from minus 152 to minus 160 home favorites. Baltimore comes in 86 wins on the season as they try to reel in the New York Yankees in the AL East. The problem is they're six games back with six to play. They've lost two straight, lost five of seven, and they are up against the Yanks. Man, hot right now. Winners of three straight, won six of seven, won nine of 11. It's hot versus cold here. And they got Schmidt on the hill talking about the Yankees, the 28-year-old out of South Carolina, the former Gamecock, 2-3 2-3 ERA, no more than two earned runs in his last seven starts. He's riding a hot right hand here. We get the Yankees, number one lineup overall, number one against righties. They're facing a righty here in Dean Kremer, the 28-year-old out of UNLV, 420 ERA and FIP. I think he gives up some crooked numbers here, guys. We're on the Yankees, minus 152 as the favorite to lead us off Tuesday night. Heading north of the border for the other AL East matchup. It's the Boston Red Sox. And the Toronto Blue Jays. Bowden Francis on the hill for the Jays. Brian Bayo going for the Red Sox. Seven in the hook being the total. Minus a dollar and a quarter. That's the Blue Jays as the home favorite. They have one, They are 10 games under 500. they have lost, what, three straight coming into the series. Swept, swept by Tampa Bay. They've lost five of six. But they have Francis on the hill. This guy's been money. If you've been watching the show, we've been betting on him with some success here. He's actually faced the Red Sox for eight innings this season, once as a reliever, once as the starter. He's given up zero earned runs and only one hit in those eight innings. So great pass performance there for Francis. He's up against Brian Bayo and the Red Sox. Look, the Red Sox aren't out of it yet. Coming into the series, four games back with six to play. They've won two straight. But this is Bayo, the Dominican-born pitcher's fourth time seeing Toronto. Kind of up and down, two Decent starts. One he got blown up in. He's on the road here in Toronto. I think I think the Blue Jays are the play here, guys. I mean, it's they're favored. It might be a little head scratching, but I I think they're favored for a reason. I think it's the Blue Jays minus the dollar in the quarter over the Red Sox. We got eight forty up next, heading a mile high. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the Colorado Rockies. Two teams that are out of the playoffs, but why are we talking about it? Hey, it all pays the same, guys, if we cash these tickets. It's the Rockies with Ryan Feltner on the hill. Up against the Cardinals starter, Mike McGreevy. If you haven't heard of him, that's okay. He's only made two MLB appearances. We'll break it down now. Minus 115 to minus 120. That's the Redbirds as the road favorite. Total of 11. St. Louis is two games over 500. They are out of the uh, the NL wild card race. They just got swept by the Blue Jays in their in their last road uh, trip, so not playing great baseball away. However, they did win the last two games at home. The story here, guys, is fading pitchers making their first start in Coors Field, and McGreevy is doing that exactly. Um, when you look at his minor league numbers, they're not all that great for the 24-year-old. He has more than a hit in inning the last two years in the minor leagues, in his profile, he throws low 90s, slider, uh, changeup, not with a lot of velocity difference from his fastball. I don't think that plays well in Coors Field. I actually think he's going to get knocked around here by this Rockies lineup. That is a lot better at home. You know, the Rockies, miserable season overall, 60 and 96. They might lose 100 games this season. But the fact is, they're only three games under 500 at home, 36 and 39. They got a shot here with two home series to end the 2024 season to actually be over 500 at home. They've been a huge moneymaker at home as well, catching plus prices. They're catching a plus price here. Granted, not all that big of a barking dog, but they are four and two, their last uh, their last home stand, And they won all four of those games as the underdog. They got Ryan Feltner on the hill. 28-year-old out of Ohio State, the former Buckeye, three straight starts, averaging over six innings, and he's given up less than two earned runs in each of those. 
I like Feltner on the hill up against the Cardinals lineup, making their first game in Colorado and looking to fade McGreevy here, the starter for for the Redbirds. So overall, guys, hey, I think the home dog is barking. Plus 105, Colorado Rockies over the St. Louis Cardinals. Got one game left. A reminder, if you could comment below, it does help. And we got premium picks up and available, wagertalk.com. Uh, four percent are up multi pick pack up so you get some savings there for the Tuesday night slate also uh, we got the what buy three months get 30 days free college basketball right around the corner guys in November December college CBB has been really good for like the last decade so if you want to jump on that you get college football NFL major league baseball and college basketball all coming your way Drew Martin experts page wagertalk.com buy three months get 30 days free huge savings there last game up degenerate special time slot however nothing nothing degenerate about this two teams likely heading to the playoffs it's the padres and the dodgers nl west battle between two teams two fan bases that don't don't like each other too much it's game one of the series last game on the card it's michael king going for the friars landed knack for the dodgers Padres come in 90 and 66 on the season. Dodgers 93 and 63. So the Padres three games back, just two series left in, in the regular season. So do have a shot here to win the division. They've won four straight. They've won eight of nine. The Padres are playing really good baseball right now. The Dodgers, they have won four of five. You look at their opponents, the Rockies and the Marlins, it was the Rockies at home, so uh, not a whole lot of strength of schedule, at least of recent, but you got to give them credit winning the four of five. Breaking it down here, the Dodgers starter, Landon Knack, 27-year-old rookie, you know, not that high of a prospect. He's just three and four in his 10 starts this season, and when you break it down in the game logs, the better lineups have really gotten after him, and he's up against the Padres, just talked about it, you know, playing good baseball, number two lineup in baseball against righties. Hey, I think they put up some crooked numbers here, guys. And we get Michael King going for the Friars, 29-year-old out of Boston College. Three-flat ERA on the season, but even better recently. Since the month of June, 2-1 ERA, 89 strikeouts, and past performance against the Dodgers. Seven innings, blanking them his last time out. 11 strikeouts. That's domination there, guys. I'm looking to bet on King. We get a plus price with the Padres playing good baseball, plus 104. Risk 100 to win 104. That's the Padres over the Dodgers to end it, guys. So a four-game, four-bet, Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday. It is $2 Tuesday at wagertalk.com. Top handicappers, top play, discounted to just $2 and went over the uh, the three months. Get three months free there, guys. So uh, we'll go best bet for the show. Colorado Rockies plus 105. Home dog barking there. We are fading the first appearance there for uh, the St. Louis Cardinals and McGreevy. So it's the dot. It's the car. It's excuse me. It's the Rockies plus one hundred and five. It's the Padres plus one hundred and four. Yankees minus one fifty two over the Baltimore Orioles, and it's the Toronto Blue Jays minus the dollar and a quarter with Bowden Francis on the hill. All bets we are listing the starter that we're betting on. Guys, huge thanks. Everybody tuning in. We'll be back on Wednesday as well. We got college football Saturday coming your way. We got NFL Sunday as well. We'll sprinkle in some MLB action on those shows on Saturday and Sunday. And for the rest of the week, Drew's Daily Diamond going strong on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those